What's up guys, my name is Skill37 and in today's video I'm going to be doing a couple of impressions and some slight updates. But uh, yeah, before that, I'd like to thank everyone who sent me messages on Xbox Live, PSN and YouTube telling me to get better and shit because in my last video I looked like a train wreck. I looked horrible, I could barely talk, my face was puffy, I looked like I was on crack. Everyone's like, oh the hell, what's wrong with you? But uh, yeah, basically I just have bad sinus and I uh, went to the doctors today. They gave me the mucho awesome drugs, and now I'm feeling actually a lot better. Yay. But uh, yeah, here to talk about a couple things. First off, I love Amazon. Really, I love Amazon. Because I've been searching for these two CDs for quite some time, and I got them. El Nino's Enigma album and um, El Nino's Undercover Sessions. These two albums are the shit. One second. Shh. Talk to you later, Shorty. Give me a second. Making a fucking video. God, fucking girls are annoying. I don't understand. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do, you know, more important things like video games and YouTube. But um, a couple things. A couple of impressions for, you know, obviously Dead Space 2 and two demos I played. Uh, first game I played was Bulletstorm on the Xbox 360. And what I must say is, it's like... I'm gonna be brutally honest, alright? I'm gonna be brutally honest. It was okay. It was okay. I actually had high hopes for the game. I played the game. I thought the controls were a little like weird. Um, the concept is cool, play with skill and all that shit, but I found the AI to be like really be fucking retarded. The graphics were nice, but uh, the controls were a little weird. I found the enemies to be retarded. I found the humor to be dry. The voice acting was typical. It's another one of these games where everyone looks like they're on fucking steroids and shit. And so far, like, I'm still going to get the game because I like first-person shooters. But I'm not going to be getting the game thinking it's going to be, like, this amazing FPS. I'm, I am think it's going to be, like, really just one of these really random average games that people are going to play and then put to the side. And then I played Crisis. I actually had high hopes for Crisis 2 also because, you know, they're all like, we're going to make a multi-platform game that's going to rival PS3 exclusives like Killzone 2. So, you know, I, want, I, I download the demo, and I jump into a game. First off, my Xbox crashes like twice because the demo's fucked up, and the, the shit freezes, and there's graphical issues left and right. So I'm actually, no, I'm actually getting into a game, and I'm like greeted by pop-ups galore, and lag, and oh my god, the fucking demo is garbage. It's garbage. Oh my god, this demo sucks. The gameplay was boring. It takes ideas from other games. It doesn't really improve on them. It's, oh my god, it was lame. Uh, I think the only thing I did like about it is the replay cam. It has like the most epic replay cam ever. It's better than Call of Duty's replay cam. It's like totally in your face. But um, the graphics ain't even all like, like that good. I was like, really? These are the graphics that they're bragging about? Some people are going to be like, okay, no, we'll don't judge a game by a demo. Okay, let's be fair. Let's compare Killzone 2 demo to Crisis 2. Fucking kills on two demo shits on Christ two demo. Okay, then you're gonna come at me with, oh, well, it's it's a it's a multiplayer. The single player's gonna be better. Okay, but um, you know, you're gonna talk about how your game is gonna be better than PS2 exclusives. Uncharted two beta, I remember that. That was a beta, and that should look better than Crisis two. Now I'm not knocking Crisis two in the sense that it looks, okay, you know, it doesn't look all that great. I'm knocking the sense that they're talking this shit, talking like we're gonna make a game to look like this and that. And you are failing to deliver. I'm not impressed at all by this game. Crisis 2 abuses, abuses motion blur. And there is my doggy. Say hi, Rocky. He looked, ah! But um, the game abuses the shit out of motion blur. Every little twist and turn you do is motion blur. Now, this game might actually look amazing as hell on a souped up PC. But so far for the Xbox 360, it's it's not that impressive at all, like at all. Like I'm not like the least bit impressed by the graphics. Motion blur abuse up the ass. Now impression about Dead Space Two. So far, I must say this is how you do it. This is how you make a sequel. Do not fix what is not broken. Holy shit! The same formula. If you played Dead Space One, you loved it. You're gonna play Dead Space Two and feel right at home. The game literally plays the same. The graphics are highly improved though. The animations. Um, what they did is they improved on everything that Dead Space 1 lacked. Like, the main character was, like, this mute. Even though he talked a couple times, Isaac was, like, this mute, and he was, like, really, like, boring as a character. Now he's, like, really emotional. He talks, like, takes his fucking helmet off, 
when he when he melees and stops enemies to the ground, he's all like, "Oh, and fucking shit!" He gets all into it. You can tell he's frightened for his life. He's surviving this shit. Uh, the melee system doesn't suck. You can actually fucking use it. L there's lots of varieties in enemies. The, the basic necromorphs, there's different variations to them. You got, you got males and females, small and tall. The death animations are the shit. The ambiance is crazy. I'm playing a game with a real dark setting. You fight like little fucking baby aliens now. It's ridiculous. The, the zero gravity sequences aren't even tedious in Death Space 1. The zero gravity areas were like retarded and like annoying. Now they're like really fun actually. And the bosses are real fun. And, you know, that space is everything Resident Evil 4 and 5 should have been. You can you can move while you're aiming, you know, over the shoulder. You can reload while running. There's, like, your character can move and do everything. You have full control of your character and the camera at all times. So even though this is a straight horror game, well, it, it's a horror game, it has so much action feel to it. The controls are straight action. So no matter how scary the game is, you always feel like, yeah, man, I'm the fucking shit. I'm Isaac, bitch. You know, you, it's awesome. You know, I fucking love it. So many, so many big, so many little improvements, which in the end equal one big improvement, and that is Dead Space 2. If you enjoy Dead Space 1 for everything it is, and you're going to enjoy Dead Space 2, I'm going to try to review the game in a few days. I'm on this 2 already. Oh, yeah, and totally, totally fail Xbox 2 disc. Fail. Oh, shit. Somebody was at my door. Yeah. So, continuing. The game, I'm on the second disc on Dead Space 2. I think I'm on Chapter 8. And this game is like bananas. It's fucking bananas. It's all over the top. Crazy shit. A lot more action than the first one. Like, that's like the first thing you really notice. A lot more action. You meet some of the higher tier Necromores really early in the game. I'm like, eh? it's crazy. But um, definitely, definitely, I, I can say this right now. I said this in the last video. Play Dead Space 1. Then play Dead Space 2. Because you might be like, what the fuck is going on? They don't really explain much. So play Dead Space 1. Then play Dead Space 2. Dead Space 1 is just amazing. Dead Space 2 is even more amazing. It's like, just play it. Just buy it. Just, oh my god. Uh, yeah, so that's really it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I gave you guys three video game impressions. I told you about my two uh, CDs, El Nino. I also picked up um, on iTunes. I bought all the albums for both my Valentine. Cannot believe I admit, ever missed that band. Like, that band's amazing. Holy shit. So, uh, guys, do me a favor. If there are bands that sound like Bullet For My Valentine, tell me. Tell me. I love discovering new music. Tell me in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah. Catch you guys in the next video, which will most likely be the review for Dead Space 2. And peace.